56 days now until the November election, and one of the country's biggest political names spent the afternoon in Dallas. House Speaker Paul Ryan campaigned for Congressman Pete Sessions, who is locked in a tight race. Channel 8's Jason Whiteley was at that event. He's back in our newsroom with a little bit of context on this visit. Jason? Yeah, Marie, right now, here's the big takeaway in all this. Pete Sessions is marshalling all the help he can to get reelected, clearly aware of the strong challenge by Democrat Colin Allred. Sessions and House Speaker Paul Ryan toured the Manda Machine Company near Dallas Low Field this afternoon. The Speaker did not take any questions, but he and Sessions, along with a business owner there in the blue shirt, they all credited the Republican tax plan for helping this company reinvest in itself and give raises to employees. Sessions represents North Dallas, Lake Highlands, and parts of Collin County. It's a changing district, as you likely know. Hillary Clinton beat Donald Trump in this district two years ago, giving Democrats hope. But Sessions still got significantly more votes in that same election. Still, he knows this could be a very close race. And Sessions told us he also invited President Trump and Vice President Pence, both to campaign with him here in Dallas. There are advantages that people have today because of Republicans and because of the president. I will remind you, President Obama had his challenges, President Bush had his challenges with people that did not see things directly as the president. So this is what Sessions' Democratic challenger Colin Allred had to say about Speaker Ryan's campaign stop here for Sessions. It's not surprising that Speaker Ryan is parachuting into Dallas to prop up Congressman Sessions after Sessions helped push Washington's tax bill that gives massive handouts to corporate special interests while blowing a $1.9 trillion hole in the deficit. This race has gone in a district that was called once solid Republican to leans Republican, and some analysts now call this a toss-up race. So expect attention and ads as Democrat try, Democrats rather try to defeat a Republican, a veteran Republican who allies himself with President Trump come November. Reporting live, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News.